Okay. New Jersey. New Jersey, okay. Well, you're honorary. Right here. Um, and for those of you that are coming from New York, uh, where in New York are you representing? What borough? Or where are you from? Where are you coming from? Right here first. Manhattan? 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 Brooklyn? Brooklyn? Washington Heights. Washington Heights, Manhattan? New Jersey? Ukraine. Wow. Oh, right. yeah, yeah. Russia. Russia. Where are you guys coming from? Manhattan. Okay. All right. So yeah. Did I get everyone? Got lucky there. All right. Where are you coming from? Oh, I'm not with you. Where are you from? The Bronx. Okay. Nice. The Bronx. Um, so um, yeah, I like to ask that question at the beginning of all of my tours, just out of interest. And what I've come to learn is that uh, we tend to be a New Yorker museum. I usually see way more many people coming from New York City than coming from out of the city, out of the state, out of the country. Um, so I always like to just kind of get a vibe of where people are coming from. Like I said, for my own interests. Um, second question, have any of you been here before? No? Okay, welcome back, welcome back. And welcome to everybody else who are coming for the first time today. Um, if you had to take a guess as to what the Transit Museum was before it was a museum, what do you think it was? A real functioning subway station, exactly right. Yes? This was, I think this was the old um, Skimmerhorn Street station. Um, we're very close to, to Skimmerhorn Street, to the Hoyt Skimmerhorn. We were the old I and D station. Hey, okay. you guys want to move it a little bit closer to me so people can get by? We're going to bond, we'll all be best friends at the end of this. Um, but yeah, you're, you're right, we're on Skimmerhorn, we're the old uh, Court Street station. And this station was built in 1936, and it was built to be the first stop in Brooklyn on the 2nd Avenue subway. We are currently still building the 2nd Avenue subway on 2nd Avenue. So it was completed in the 1930s. So downstairs on our platform level, at one end of our platform, it's a brick wall waiting for that 2nd Avenue train to come, that never did. On the other end though, we do connect to the rest of the subway system. We connect directly to Hoyt Skimmerhorn, uh, which is still an active station on the A, the C, and the G. Um, so from 1936 until 1946, uh, the HH train went from this station to Hoyt Skimmerhorn and then back again. That was it. The HH train was a shuttle train. Um, in case you don't know, Hoyt Skimmerhorn is about three blocks away. Most people, it's starting to make sense why it's a museum now, right? Um, most people are not going to pay for, wait for, you know, a train that only takes them three blocks away, which is why the station was closed after only 10 years. Nobody really used the train that came here. Had the 2nd Avenue subway been built in the 1930s, this would have been a major stop in Brooklyn. But because it wasn't, the museum instead. Uh, again, we closed in 1946 um, and stayed quiet here. They filmed some movies here. Probably most uh, notable during that time period was the taking of Pelham 123. Uh, it was filmed in our tunnels. Uh, we continue to, to have a lot of film shoots, TV shoots, uh, movie shoots, uh, photo shoots, all kinds of stuff get done here. It's a lot easier to film here than in the actual system. Yeah, because unlike the action movies, you don't usually see action films being shoot on a daily basis in real subway stations. Exactly right, right. So uh, so we, we end up being a, a, a pretty popular spot for doing uh, film shoots and stuff like that. Um, but uh, yeah, they did track training here during that time period. Um, they stored things here and stayed pretty quiet. Now fast forward to the 1970s. Some of you guys might be aware that the 70s was a pretty rough time for the city, uh, specifically for the subways. There was a lot of crime in the subway, a lot of vandalism. A lot of people didn't feel safe. Uh, so a group of transit workers got together. They started to secretly save and hide 
old train cars. Having this crazy idea that one day people would be interested in seeing what old subway train cars look like in New York. Um, in 1976, they had an opportunity to put those train cars on display. They opened up an exhibit that was meant to last for maybe two or three months um, with the goal of teaching New Yorkers how important the subway system is, how it really is the subway that makes the city so great, and just how integral the subway is to the, the development of New York City um, and its future. Um, and of course they hoped that people would turn around and treat the regular subway system with a bit more respect after going to that exhibit. Um, like I said, it was meant to last for a few months. Um, but, you know, it was so popular that it never closed down, and eventually it became a permanent institution, the New York Transit Museum. Um, so that's a bit about our history, a little bit about why we're here, uh, the goals we have in terms of serving the New York City community, um, and of course a bit about our, our station as well. A word of warning, since most of you are here for the first time, this is a, uh, a working subway station. Our trains do not move anymore, but there is electricity on our tracks. Our third rail is live. Um, it provides the lighting for our train cars as well as some of the lights in the station. Um, so keep that in mind when you're walking on and off of train cars today with me. Uh, watch your step. Treat this museum as you would treat any other subway station. Feel free to, you know, take pictures, make videos, take notes. Um, but hold on tight to all of your stuff, okay? If anything falls on our tracks, we are yep. not usually able to retrieve it. Um, so like I said, just hold on tight to your things. Um, and yeah, I'm going to focus on the platform today. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the museum as a station. I'll kind of show you guys what's going on down on the tracks of a subway uh, station. Um, then we'll talk a little bit about the history of pre-subway New York. And then we'll spend most of our time together uh, learning the history of the subway on the subway train cars themselves. Um, I'm real casual. You guys can feel free to walk on and off of my tour. It won't hurt my feelings if you know you walk away from me. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty loud, so hopefully you guys will all hear me okay. Right. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, awesome. We'll head downstairs.